Hello and welcome to the first video vlog, vlog thing, whatever they do on YouTube where they talk about their lives and stuff and what's going on. In any case, this is, I'm going to be clever and call it a K-log, or a clog, Carl logs. I think it sounds clever and a bit stupid. Anyway, this will kind of go over what I'm doing, what I'm up to with the cars and whatnot, and when I'm too busy to actually work on them. So this first one will explain what's going on now and um, what I'll be doing since I'm on spring break. So, as I previously mentioned in a previous video, the 911 has a oil leak coming from one of the valve covers. And um, let me just pull the, this here. I believe it's coming from the uh, top left valve cover gasket. You can kind of see the sheen of oil right there over to the uh, left right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right over there in the back. So since I'm on spring break, I'll be changing out the valve cover gaskets. But I did find out thanks to Pelican Parts that while I'm there doing that, I should probably check the valves, see if they're in the right specifications for the engine to be running at its peak potential. So I'll be doing that as well. Now I'm not sure whether or not I'll be able to record that part of the video when I'm doing the valve cover gasket video because I'm not sure how intricate and how particular it will be and I don't want to rush and go as fast as possible just to show you how it's done. So that part may or may not be in it. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Now here's the valve cover gasket kit. It's got the gaskets and the appropriate nuts, bolts, and washers that I'll be replacing it with. And um, you can also see how much oil is on the garage floor. I wasn't kidding when I said it was leaking quite a bit. So the other thing that's going to have to happen is in order to do the valve adjustment, the engine has to be dead cold. So I'll drain the oil first out of the car once I heat it up, uh, warm the engine. And then I'll probably just put it on jack stands and wait for that. But who knows, you know, this is, since I have a week off, this shouldn't be much of a problem to do. As for the 944 over here, um, well, I mean, it's pretty much running as good as it has in recent time. I still need to get some work done at it. The tachometer, of course, is still broken and being lazy about that, just shifting by ear. No matter. Um, I still need to get the suspension reworked. Um, when I did the struts uh, last year, I hadn't gotten it aligned properly, so it kind of pulls a bit to the um, it's the right. Just a little bit, not enough that it hinders driving much, just driving around town. But this year, I'm going to get that done finally. And some other small things, maybe repaint the uh, front uh, spoiler bumper thing. So you can kind of see it's a bit of a different color. No worries. It looks fine for now. A good compound. and should bring out a little more red until then. And um, some other future things we're going to do is we're going to repaint the, the uh, rocker panel down there just to uh, prevent any rust should that happen. Because living in Michigan, they put a crap ton of salt on the road. And yeah, there's a lot of rust buckets out. As for the ST, um, I bet you're wondering what happened to the front end. Well, there's a wonderful story about that. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too sightly. Um, what happened was, tuning with some friends, of course, you know, I'm young, I like to have fun with cars, and um, we were in an abandoned parking lot, and lo and behold, we thought the ice was solid where we were having some fun. Turns out that it wasn't solid, and when I went straight into it, straight over the ice, the ice couldn't handle the way of the car. The car dipped into the um, puddle, as it turned out to be. And all the shards of ice basically went in and just, just like that, right into the bumper cover and sheared it off. Now, I mean, that's not the worst part of the damage. The worst part's right here where I can kind of just stick my hand in here. So, yeah, fortunately, Everything behind it's perfectly fine, intercooler and that stuff. It's just the bumper cover, which has been trashed to an extent. No matter, that will be another thing I'll be fixing later on. Fortunately, I have a couple ST friends with some spare parts they'll be able to lend me so I can do the repair economically and properly. 
on my own budget. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Um, so just stay tuned in for the uh, next few weeks and we'll see where this goes from now. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. And if you like this kind of stuff and other such things, why not uh, subscribe for more videos like this? Or don't. More power to you, depending on what you pick. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.